Oh, I do. Look where I work. <laughs> Horrible place to work. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> Hate my job. <laughs> Suck series it starts right here. All right. So what we're doing is we've seen some guys do cam shootouts with a stock Milwaukee 8 107. What we want to do is we want to do a cam shootout on the new motor. So if you do a high compression setup on the new motor and you do a stage three or stage four from Harley, you're gonna take your brand new 114 to a 117. We got one right here already built that we've done. It is the 117 high compression motor with an SNS 475 cam gear drive in it already. It's a package we sell a lot here at the dealership. Um, just a good running all around bike. If you want a hot rod and something that's reliable, makes more power than the Harley kits, this is what we set you up with. We have one pretty much in the dealership all the time where if you're wanting to do this build, we'll let you demo it, see what it does before you spend the money. We pair them all with the D&D pipe. d and is made in Texas, America. So um, is Texas America? Texas is the real America. I think it depends on if you talk to somebody from Texas or somebody not from Texas. Or is it before they build a wall or after they build a wall? I don't think they care if they have a wall. They have an owl. Hey, Texas, you're America. <laughs> Mike, we didn't drink his coffee. Hey, I love Texas. Just not the Republic of. So this pipe, we run this because we get really good numbers. It gets awesome torque numbers and uh, it's a triple step pipe. We're running two into one, really long primary length on the primaries on this pipe. And we're gonna run this in all of them. So what we have coming to us is stuff from fueling, stuff from comp cams, s, &S. Who else? Uh, Andrews. Andrews. We may throw a red shift in there. And if you're watching this, you make cams. You want them in the bike, you want to do the shootout. Call Aaron or Jamie at Harley Davidson Cool Springs. We'd like to get you set up and uh, we'll throw your cams in here. We'll run the dyno in the exact same setup. So, what we're going to do is not, not we, what Mike is going to do is take this cam out, swap everyone's cam in, run it, get the dyno numbers, take that cam out, swap the next cam in it, get the dyno numbers. We're going anywhere from like 470 lift to about a 530 lift, depending on the cam manufacturer that has made the cam. So, we're going to compare all the 470s and then we'll compare all the ones that are like 500 to 530 lift. So we have two different cam setups. Uh, a little more torquey cam and one that carries you a little farther down the range of the RPMs. you want to throw some Harley cams in there too? Might as well show you what the Harley can do. Might so yeah, well. we'll put the Harley cams in there to show you what we get with the Harley results. Uh, we want to put the data out there for everyone. So as much stuff as we can get our hands on is what we want to put in this bike. We want the data just so one, we have it. We can use it for our customers. Customers can use it when they're picking their cams out and we have real data. And it's not to, it's not to trash cams or say this cam is the only cam that works because every setup is different. It's just to see with this particular setup how each cam operates on this motorcycle. It's the only way to really have a control is to only change one thing. So we're just going to change the cam. We're going to keep the heads, we're going to keep the exhaust. Later we may go back, change the exhaust, do it again, we may go back, change heads, do it again, so we can see how changing components affects the motorcycle, because it really does. It's not, you can't make the motorcycle do what you want because you read it in a magazine. You have to decide what you want to have happen and pick the correct components to make that happen. Yeah, so stage one, we're gonna do basically a stage three Harley build with different manufacturers' cams in them. And uh, we have some cam plates provided by SNS. We have cam plates provided by Fueling. We'll stick those in here just so you can see them and everything else as we go. So the first run through all this will be this motor, stock heads, stock throttle body. It's got injectors in it, right? Yeah, with injectors. So the first run will be basically Harley Davidson stage three with different cams in it. Next, what we'll do is we'll swap out probably the heads for a CNC ported Harley head with their intake. We'll do the exact same thing, run through all of them, and then we'll do what we've been using for heads and HPI's throttle body and run them all through that, just to show you what it does on different levels. So this will be a lengthy series. Stay tuned, subscribe, because we're gonna have some really cool videos. Every time we get a part in, we'll go over the part as we do the builds. We'll do videos of that one cam being installed in the dyno run. So this will probably be a good 40, 50, video series easily and then when everything's done we'll have everything documented on our website so you can read about it and we'll go over 
why that cam's better, why we would choose this, this cam. Well, just because one cam might have the biggest numbers, doesn't mean it's the cam you should ride. Everyone has a different riding style. If you're not riding the RPMs that that cam's working in, we might push you to a smaller cam. We want to get you the cam that's the best bang for your buck. And Mike and Aaron that you see in all the videos, those are the guys you talk to to pick out the right cam for yourself. You're trying to get Discovery to do the reality show. Huh? I was listening to Gas Monkey Garage this morning when I was waking up in the shower. He was talking to Joe Rogan and I was like, you know what? We're smart as Gas Monkey Garage, or at least when they started. They're pretty smart though. And they got junk on the podcast. <laughs> well, Made it even better. Not all the way did. through, but Rogan yeah. does some good stuff. Yeah, Joe Rogan's a badass, man. <laughs> all the way around. Yeah, that doesn't mean we're going to drink when we build these things, but we'll drink after.